Hi, this video is going to be about population genetics and uh, today's problem is in population that is in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium the frequency of the homozygous recessive genotype is 0 0.09 what is the frequency of individuals that are homozygous for the dominant allele and here is the five answers to choose from and if you know how to use Hardy-Weinberg uh, formula. You may stop video here and uh, try to solve this problem on your own. And when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So in order to solve this problem, we are going to use Hardy-Weinberg formula. And here is the formula. So F, that stands for the frequency of uh, three possible genotypes. So this would be uh, equal to p plus 2 uh, p squared plus 2 pq plus q squared and uh, all this would equal to 1 and all the alleles p plus all the alleles q would equal to 1 and 1 would equal to 100 percent so uh, p squared stands here for the homozygous dominant genotype, 2PQ stands for the heterozygous genotype and Q squared stands for the homozygous recessive genotype. And we know that the frequency of the homozygous recessive genotype is uh, 0.09 or we also can say that this is uh, on this scale would equal to 9% and uh, now we have to find the frequency of the uh, individual that is homozygous uh, for the dominant allele or homozygous dominant that is uh, here and p squared stands for the homozygous dominant genotype so how we are going to solve this problem and this is very easy as long as we know q squared and q squared equals to uh, 0 0.09 so in order to find uh, Q, we have just to take square root uh, from uh, both sides. So Q would equal to square root of 0 0.09. And the answer here would be Q equal to 0 0.3. And uh, if we know the frequency of the Q and Q stands for the recessive allele A and Q squared stands for the uh, frequency of the homozygous recessive and P here stands for the, all the alleles dominant A in this gene pool and Q stands for the, all the alleles uh, small a in this um, gene pool or recessive allele so as you see uh, we have three genotypes here and only two types of alleles and one would be recessive allele and another one would be dominant allele and these uh, two types of alleles uh, that is here would uh, make this three genotypes and two phenotypes because this is going to be one phenotype and in simple Mendelian genetics this heterozygous genotype would make the same phenotype as homozygous dominant. So as long as we know that frequency of the uh, allele uh, that is recessive, allele A, is 0 0.3, of course we can easily find the frequency of the allele that is dominant A or P according to this formula. We just have to rearrange this formula. So uh, P would equal 1 minus Q, so P would equal 1 minus 0 0.3, so P would equal to 0 0.7. And this is going to be frequency of the dominant allele A. And our question is, uh, what is the frequency of the individuals that are homozygous for uh, dominant allele? And this is going to be uh, genotype 
here that is going to be homozygous dominant and as long as we know p we of course can find p squared so uh, p squared would equal to uh, number p also squared so this is going to be 0 0.7 squared and the answer would be 0 0.49 and as you see this is going to be answer number 4 and this is going to be the frequency of the homozygous uh, dominant genotype and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Goodbye.